Last week, Bill's class took a field trip to the beach. His half-brother, Randall, came along, a little boy in the special class with aluminum hook arms, whose mind was as misshapen as his legs. No one at school really knew him because he always rode a separate bus and was taught to stand within the confines of a tetherball circle every recess. In the late afternoon, Randall was over with the adults when he spotted a gull overhead. His eyes burst with emotion and he suddenly took off stumbling after it. Tears streaming down his little face, he stretched his aluminum hooks as wide as he could towards the sun, howling, Boon, Boon, and disappeared into the deep blue sea. The other kids were surprised he could even run that fast. Bill's mother put a heavy coat over him whenever he left the house, for fear that he might fall victim to something called walking pneumonia. She started doing this the winter after losing Randall, but then made him wear it every day for the next five years. In the summers, he also had to wear a helmet and asbestos safety gloves. These were the days she rarely left the house and shaved the cat on weekends. On his sixth birthday, his mother gave him a postage stamp and a piece of yarn and hugged him for five minutes. His parents argued again that night and she threw meat. His stepfather stormed to the door where he turned his face up towards a hole in the ceiling and yelled, I just can't handle this goddamn woman, and left. She stared at the front door and rocked there in place, saying, ah, 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 ah. Every now and then at school, he'd find a note from her in his lunchbox.